What is going on, everybody? I'm bringing uh, something I used to do to where I do questions and answers, and I get a lot of emails, and I try to reply back to as many as I can. And what I think I'm going to start doing is when people start asking me questions, it'll benefit more than just that person. I'm going to push them out there, and I'll use your name, but I won't use, like, your full name or your hidden screen name or Instagram name, whatever it may be. But I think a lot of this will benefit everybody overall. And so don't get mad. Like, if you send me a, a question, I just hit back. I'm going to put this on my next uh, video. And it'll be Tuesdays only I'll do these and release them. Uh, it's only because, you know, it's good to have everybody out there know it, just not one person. So we got, was it four questions for uh, today? This has been all since uh, probably Saturday. But I've gotten these, and I figured it would be good as a group as a whole for everybody to hear what my responses are to this. Um, again, if you email me, it's something I, I don't think would be benefit a group. I'll just email you personally. But please don't get mad if I say, hey, I'm going to save the answer for the next video. Um, because it may be a little bit lengthy and stuff, too. Alrighty, alrighty. Let me figure out where we're at here on my screen. There we go. Boom! First one from Matt V. When do you think I should start? buying baseball cards again a lot of people are saying that videos to buy them by mid-february well honestly i think you're behind the power curve to be honest um mid-february is way too late because you're already starting to look into uh what do they call the preseason if they're doing preseason games this year i don't even know um you should have been buying them back in december to be honest uh probably mid-december beginning of december when it was a complete off season some cards were starting to shift downward a little bit. I'm not saying if you don't if you buy them now, you're still not going to make some money, but you'd have made a lot more money if you had done it prior to it. The people that are telling you to start buying them by mid February, in my own opinion, have already stockpiled on these guys, and they're looking to try to move them now to make a profit and start looking into probably football, and especially teams that make in the playoffs where cards are going to start dipping down. So I want to give you guys a perfect example. Let me pull this question off the screen here. All right, there we go. Pull this up. Boom, here we go. So if you guys look, this is a perfect example of a card. Back December 15th, Patisse's uh, Tops rookie card, PSA 10, was selling about 160, we'll say average, all right? Now I'm going to scroll down. I just want to show you guys the difference here. All right, let's go to page 11. Let's see where they're at here. We're already in the 180s around Christmas time, so we're up about 20, 25 bucks. Trying to get back to the very beginning here. Uh, without me clicking on stuff here. Ones that sold by auction. Now we're at about 210, 250, and we're right before New Year's. I'm going to scroll this whole way the first one. Just don't allow me to go the whole way. And today, they should be at 285 Well, there's one sold for buy it now, 250 250 Here's, uh, this should be two, 325 This should be the 285 one here. Nope, 300 300. Oh, it's Tops Chrome. My bad. Tops Chrome. Chrome. Top Series 2. These should be a 250. 250. 244. Top Series 2-1. 285. 285. So as you guys see, they've jumped up. What about a hundred and something, 120 bucks, 130 bucks in under a month? As we started December 15th, so now we're gonna say it's 21 days. Do I think you should still buy them? You can. I'm not gonna tell you that. I mean, that's up to you what you think on a business standpoint. But do I think that you're late in buying in the game? Yes, I do, because I've been watching constantly since mid December, everybody buying baseball cards, Dominguez, Acuna. 
uh, Soto, Tatis, all those guys. So if you're looking at trying to invest into them, you better snatch them up quickly. Do not wait till mid-February. Like I said, whoever's putting stuff out like that, um, I, I don't, I'm not going to say that's on their own judgment, but I do know a lot of these guys that do that have already bought into baseball. And what they try to do is influence the market to buy more because they're making profits already of 100 and some dollars. That's what they do. They flip. Everybody knows what a flipper is. So we're really going to get into all that. Um, but my honest opinion is I would have been buying a long time ago. Getting late in the game right now because you're getting right before the season starts. Then you're going to start being on to how that player is performing. So hopefully that makes sense, Matt, and everybody else out there. All right, let's roll down here. Next one, did you see Beckett is shut down? When do you think they will get back up? Hopefully people are there working on orders still. Eric W. Well, I just saw on a post, Beckett is still open currently, but they're not at back to normal, so they're not able to probably send and receive packages via mail. I guess they're there still doing what they can. So they're not technically shut down. There's still people there working, but I guess from what I'm understanding, they're not receiving packages and mailing them out. I could be wrong on that. I'm not like a big dude that sends in the Beckett to where I have reps and or live close to it to where I go there and do drop off on orders. I can only repeat what I see. Um, I already only have a couple orders at Beckett, and they've already been there for a while. So, uh, technically, they're not shut down. I guess you could say they are shut down to the public, but they're still doing internal work. Yeah. Take it back. We had five questions for today. All right, next one up. What are you currently in? What are you investing in currently? You should do videos on what you are buying so others can look into buying them. Mike G. I don't do that. It goes back to question number one, Mike. And everybody else out there, I will never tell you what to invest your money into. I am not an influencer in any way when it comes to stuff like that. I do my a lot of my own homework onto this stuff, and I have a select few group of probably about ten people we talk all the time on the cards. And I, it's interesting to always see what everybody else is getting into and what I've missed, and they do the same with me. So currently. I don't really want to say what I'm buying into because if you go out there and you slam five thousand or a thousand dollars or your six hundred dollars stimulus in it and it becomes a bust, I don't want to be that guy you hate because you were listening to something that I was doing. I take risks to what I can afford, and that's about the best I could tell anybody out there. Take those risks on your own. Don't always look into what everybody else is doing uh, and hurry up. To slam a lot of money in look into it see it just like i did with that last video or last or two two questions ago on the baseball go back and look at what stuff was selling for a month two months three months ago if you have those power charts that you buy into and stuff look at it there before you start making a decision on to it um but i will eventually start doing some videos on stuff that i do invest into a lot of this stuff, I, if I do buy it raw, it goes straight to PSA. But uh, I'll, I'll try to look into a way where maybe after a while to where I show what I've invested and how what the outcome is, whether good or bad. Because I think a lot of people only show the good part of it. They never really show the bad. All right, question number four, and I get this a lot. Will you, will you be... It should be, will you be breaking again soon? That was my point because I was typing this stuff off of messages. What will I be breaking next? This was from John. Um, I, I'm not a big breaker anymore as for PYT randoms just because product has gotten really, really expensive. And I understand that as some people still like breaking. Uh, I still do break in the Monster Den on occasion. It's just that uh, when there's no new product coming out or I'm allocated very little, I may just run the boxes by what they call a RAS, 10 spots, top person off, the randomizer gets the box, or I'll run a PYT. But mostly, I will only break stuff that I would be willing to get break into myself and spend my own money. Uh, probably the next product we're probably looking at is Top Series 1. 
and I've been really debating on to break it because it's so heavy in shipping. I'm um, actually either uh, to toss up now of uh, either selling the boxes or running a mega rise just on the whole case. And somebody, you know, ten dollars a spot versus how many spot, you know, how much the case is that, and uh, letting somebody win it dirt cheap instead, and let them have fun building sets onto it. But uh, I will try to keep it posted if I got any upcoming breaks. Maybe I'll, I'll post it in a message board on YouTube here. Um, if not, maybe do a video saying, "Hey, I got this product. I'll be live in the Monster Den. Da 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 da. This day here." Um, if you guys don't belong to Facebook and stuff like that, I'll try to look at maybe putting breaks back in the store, but I am starting to get personal boxes back in. It kind of ties in the next question I had, too. So if you see boxes popping up on ExtremeCardBreaks.com, those are for sale. If you email me or I'm live and you're like, dude, open up live for me, I'll do it. I'll break it live, case it up, do everything you want, you know, I normally do with the stuff out. Otherwise, a lot of people will like just buy their own wax and open themselves with their kids. So, automatically, if you buy something from the website, it's going to be shipped. If you want it ripped, just hit me up, man. I'll come live. I'll tell you when I can come live and break it, and we'll work a timeout if I'm not already live. So, uh, I still damn breaking, but just it's not going to be like it was two years ago where I'm breaking three, four times a week. Products are very expensive. And a lot of the product that we have to go into, it just doesn't make sense to break it. And people lose not a lot of money. I'd rather just razz the boxes and have somebody have a chance, you know, at a tenth of the cost win the box because they couldn't even probably buy a team for a tenth of the price. Well, they might, some of the lower ends. But when you're talking about the top five, six teams each time, I, don't, I think at a tenth of the price it makes a lot more sense you win the box. And if you skunk it, you know, for 60, 70 bucks, you know, if it's like an optic football box, you should be able to grade some stuff and, you know, maybe get some money back down the road. All righty, last question coming up. Last question coming up here. Uh, from Don W. I've seen you start list listed. You know, and I typed this out probably the way. I, it might be my fault. It should be I've seen... You started listing Pokemon boxes on your uh, website. Will you be getting new releases? The answer is yes to that. Um, I have stuff coming in February and March. There'll be new releases. I'll post them up there for sale again. If you want me to open it live, I can open it live. If not, I'm just continuing being uh, you know, sold as is. If you're somebody comes to my shows or shows I'm set up at, I will have the Pokemon box there. I won't be, of course, uh, the show this Saturday, um, but the next show in Louisville, which should be in March, I'll be there, and I should have a lot of the new release Pokemon stuff up there, whether it's boosters, tin, whatever else is out there. I, I probably put on the next two releases probably uh, a display box of everything in there or a case. So we'll see what, what, what I get allocated. And yeah, it'll they'll be on there. If you're a Pokemon guy, Look at on there. But that was it for questions that I had, and I figured instead of uh, having four or five emails, you know, about it and trying to keep it up, um, I I'd rather just come out forward and answer the questions on to this stuff. Uh, hopefully, you know, if you guys had questions similar to it, I've answered it. Um, sorry, I'm not much more of a, like giving out investing strategies and what to buy into and stuff like that. It's somebody else's hard earned money. And if I wanted to do something like that, I'd be a stockbroker. And I just have too much of a conscience to know that somebody went out there and listened to my advice and really messed up. If I'm going to give advice, it'd be something that I would do. And normally the advice that I will give people is like, should I grade this card? And stuff like that there, that's where I'll give it at. And I'll tell you, you know, I, if it was me, I would grade it at this service level to get it back that quick. But as far as who to buy into and stuff, I don't see myself doing that just because, like I said, <coughs> your hard-earned money, and if you went out there, like I said, you had $600 stimulus, and you listened to me to go buy 
uh, I don't know, Kevin Porter Jr., who's been arrested and all that stuff, and his stuff drips down to the bottom dollar. He comes back, plays a few games, something else happens, and you wasted all that money. I, I would feel horrible on to it because I'm giving advice out, and, you know, you guys are losing money. It's about getting the hobby, having fun, making some money when you can, and reinvest it into it, just like the baseball question earlier, you know. If you weren't buying baseball before this, um, I think you're late to the game, but there's still room for value to go up still uh, before the preseason and season starts. And then you're going to start looking at guys' performance more than anything else. But, you know, first Romans too. But that's pretty much it, everybody. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my little Q&A here. I'll Every Tuesday, if I get questions, I think would be uh, beneficial to everybody out there. Um, like I said, if you get an email from me, uh, please don't uh, get upset if I say I'm going to hold this question for the uh, questions and answers segment on YouTube because uh, I think it benefits more than everybody. That way I don't have to answer the question, you know, seven, eight times in emails, too. Um, other than that, hopefully have a good week nothing new coming out this week next week playbook football we got a box of it we'll see if we can pull a bird out of it um but other than that take care see you guys on the next video